you know, what can you tell me what some of the anecdotes or something that happened on your farm? Let's start there. Well, initially it was um, Tim Boone was part of Morgan Hill's chain and split off, um, had two places that were split off into Tim Boone and Longacre and was um, taken over by the Hyde family that um, were more into entertaining um, Prime Minister than anything of New Zealand. And so a lot of uh, hunting and that went on around Tim Boone and on Tim Boone. Um, and then in, I think it was 57 or something like that, my father's grand, grandfather took over. And unfortunately he passed away with uh, cancer, I think it was. So my father took over that when he was 17. And he's been there ever since. And probably, what was it last year? I think we had our 50th Lucas uh, year there, or Tussock did. And hopefully my generation now, hopefully I'll be the one to carry on and take it on, so yeah. What's it like farming this kind of territory? Because it's, um, it's, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wise. pretty erratic weather, weather yes. Um, both um, seasons, hot and cold. Um, it's a bit of a challenge. It's not too bad um, in the summer, obviously with the irrigation that's going on now and hopefully the new new scheme that's coming on. Um, rabbits are a main concern, obviously. Everyone uh, relies or uh, says to Taurus, you know, it relates to rabbits, but um, they're probably right. <laughs> so what do you do nowadays to try and keep the rabbits? Um, it's more shooting and poisoning and things like that. 1080 poison you out of the plane and things like that, yeah. A lot of rabbit control and rabbit eating and that goes on, so yeah, it's a big expense for farmers around here. Yeah. Mm. Okay, how about growing up here? What, what's it like in Taurus? You know, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm from the city, so what's yep. it like growing up in, in, in oh, a Oh, it was like great, great wee community. Um, even as young ones, we were lucky we had um, probably about 20 of us up our, our road, so we were all on this one little bus, which was quite entertaining. Uh, many fights went on in the back of the bus, as you could imagine. Did you ever win? No. <laughs> Got kicked off a few times. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was quite entertaining, and a few, a few girlfriends in the back seat of the bus, so it was quite good. Um, but Did it was great. On there, it must be quite hard to have girlfriends here, because there weren't too many to choose from really. Oh uh, no, in my era we had, um, I think there was 20 girls in the school and I think there was only three guys so it was, um, the ratio was pretty good. Yeah. And um, playtime was always pretty entertaining out in the back, back broom bushes out there playing catch and kiss. So it was quite good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know a girl Anna, did you? <laughs> we just spoke to Amy yep. and about She was one of them, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a wee pet. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Um, it's alright, that won't get on this. No, it's alright. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what is it about Terrace? Like, do, do you love this place or is it just where you grew up? Like, what is it about this, not Terrace, um, sorry, this, this, this district? That district. You, is, that I just love the, love the area. Um, it's so close to the lakes and, the, and in the, you're in the mountains and out of, out of the rat race. And, and there's great people of your age and era and we're all all been brought up together and just always, always got on and a lot of Lucas's and families and that around here and pledges and all relations so it's quite really nice people and everyone gets on and yeah, it's just a fun community, yeah, very